Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So in this tutorial video I will be showing how to use my latest plugin WP Setup Wizard. So as its name says, says it will be able to set up your WordPress site from zero. So if you just install the WordPress site, this plugin can save you hours of configuration time. So Using this plugin you can configure the newly installed WordPress lightning fast and also this can be used not just on new WordPress sites but also on old and existing WordPress sites. On existing WordPress sites you can use this plugin to start for, uh, the site from zero if you want to repurpose the site or alternatively you can add new functionality to the site because this plugin also offers many many new features that are needed on WordPress sites. So let me dive right into the tutorial video and in this one I will be showing you just the quick setup wizard. So the plugin has a quick setup wizard part and many advanced parts, advanced features and this is the first part of the tutorial video series for this plugin and you will be able to uh, check other videos in the playlist here. So on that side of the video you will see a YouTube playlist that will contain multiple tutorial videos for this plugin each covering a part of it. Also in the future when I will be adding new updates and new features to the plugin keep in mind that in that playlist you will find the tutorial videos that will cover also the new features. But right now enough with the talk and let's dive right into the plugin. So I need to install it. So this is a test site and let's install the plugin. Click plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, go to the zip file you downloaded and click install now. After the installation the plugin will be able to be activated and you will go straight into the setup wizard where this tutorial video will reside. So I will be showing you the setup wizard part of the plugin. So this is it. After we activate the plugin the first time we will see this setup wizard and you will see that the plugin will cover content creation and also deletion for your site, legal, settings GDPR, settings teams, plugins, you can install teams or plugins with this uh, plugin, security, settings SEO, settings social, settings monetization, settings speed, settings and finished. When you are finished you will be here on ready. So keep in mind in this tutorial video I will be covering also only this setup wizard and nothing more. If you want to get more you should check advanced videos. So if you don't want to go to this setup wizard right now you can click not right now or if you want to get straight into the setup wizard process you should click let's go. Let's click right now the not right now button because I want to show you how to get back to the setup wizard if you exited. So I click the not right now button. Now I go to quick setup wizard settings here in the plugin menu. Click this cl uh, button. Click OK and you will get back to the setup wizard of the plugin. Here it is. Now let's click let's go and let's start the setup wizard process of the site. So here I can go ahead and rename my WordPress site, change its tagline, change its admin email, delete all posts, pages, categories, tags, attachments, comments. These will be useful features if you want to get rid of the existing content. You can, uh, you might want this if you have a newly installed website because WordPress as you might know creates those dummy pages, posts and comments which should be deleted when you install a new site and this can be done using simply flipping these switches. So right now all post pages that are existing on my site will be deleted by the plugin once I click this continue button. And also we can create some content. The plugin can create an about us page, a contact us page, an affiliate disclosure, Amazon affiliate disclosure, anti-spam policy, cookie policy, GDPR request, copyright policy, earnings disclaimer, medical disclaimer. This is for medical sites, 
policy privacy policy this is also important to have and terms of service pages this is also very important to have on your website so create blank posts so you can add here a list of post titles that the plugin will create this will be created as blank posts so let me create test post one and comma test post two blank pages create categories tags some dummy content if this site is for testing only the plugin can create some lorem ipsum content for you only by switching this switch new comment email notification turn this on or off comment moderation email notification enforce common moderation disable comments for posts or pages and enable facebook comments this will re replace the default commenting system of wordpress with facebook comments this is also a nice feature to have okay so let's also change the title of the site the tagline okay admin email and write this is all so now let's hit the continue button and the plugin will make its processing and now if we go back to the content site so the content part here then we will see that the plugin is uh, was actually uh, has actually changed the site title the tagline and it has also created content for us okay now here are the legal settings if you want to enable the cookie notice then you should sweep uh, flip this switch oh also one small thing let's go back to the content settings and if you wish to see advanced content settings because the plugin also offers some advanced settings these are just the basic uh, quick settings of it and if you want to see the full list of settings that the plugin offers for content uh, generation deletion or modification then you should click the content settings button here and clicking this you will see that the plugin created uh, this page and you will see that it will uh, you will be able to switch between content settings you will have also some image settings header footer content under construction mode so there will be many more settings here in the advanced settings of the plugin than you see right here in the quick settings so this was just a parenthesis and i will be resuming now with legal settings so right now we are here in the legal part of the plugin we can enable cookie notice if you want to further configure cookie notice that you should then you should go to the legal settings part here in the advanced settings of the plugin um, show cookie notice only to european visitors if you want to show the cookie notice only to european visitors you should check this text accept button decline button learn more text oh so this is learn more button url decline button url cookie notice position if you want to show it on the bottom or on the top cookie notice uh, show again after so show the notice after this amount of days so let's enable this just to show to you guys how the cookie notice looks so let me go to the site so this is the also the test posts are visible that we created in the previous post previous step so we enable the cookie notice now once we hit continue here and now if we refresh our site then the cookie notice is visible right here on the bottom we can click accept and it will not be showing anymore okay so gdpr settings 
If you want, you can configure your site to not accept any traffic from the EU. This will make your site fully GDPR compatible and you will not have any more issues with it. However, if you want to make your site GDPR compatible and also accept traffic from the EU and you want to be fully legit with your site, then you can go to advanced GDPR settings here. And here you will have this full configuration and I will be making an, an additional tutorial video for this part. Okay, but now let's go back to our quick setup wizard part where we can, let's say, skip this GDPR setting step or hit also continue. Both will work. And if you want to install a team, you can set its URL or a zip file of the team here. So if you want to install GeneratePress, for example, so if we go to GeneratePress site, this will be the team. And simply add a comma separated uh, list of WordPress teams. So if you want to install multiple teams, let me show you. So paste the URL comma and paste the next URL. But now let me install only generate press for testing purposes. So install generate press, hit continue. And this is how the plugin will show the installation. That quick rolling was the installation of the team. And if we click on appearance now, we will see that generate press is here and installed for us same we can do for plugins if we want we can install a plugin simply by pasting the url of the plugin from wordpress.org so this is a plugin i created and we can simply install it by pasting the url of it here so if we go to plugins right now on the site we will see that it is not installed, but once we hit continue, also the quick rolling was appearing, and if we refresh the plugins page, the plugin appeared and it is installed. Also, there are some security related settings. Keep in mind that these are just limited settings for security. If you want to get full settings, uh, you should click on the security settings button on the uh, button on the bottom of the page. Okay, so limit login attempts count. If you want to limit login attempts, if you want to create a custom login page, a login URL, if you want to change the login.php login URL, you can do it here. This is all to secure your WordPress site enforce HTTPS on front end, on back end, recapture if you want to enable recapture on your uh, WordPress login form or for comments or also for the GDPR form that the plugin generates. So this is a form that the plugin will generate but about this I will talk in an additional video because if I would talk in this video about this or so this tutorial video would be one hour long so yeah now let's continue and let me show you the ceo settings because this is next enable ceo meta tags this will switch on the automatic generation of facebook twitter and generic ceo tags by this plugin discourage search engines from indexing your site this is not recommended however this is a test page and i have this on switched on usually redirect 404 errors to home page if you want to redirect to tell the plugin that you want to redirect 404 page not found errors to home page you can do this by simply switching this to on now hit continue And after this is done, we will move to social settings. So social settings also will cover some 
cool features and we are here enable social sharing buttons you can switch on the social sharing feature show on posts pages attachments and so on sharing button position top bottom sharing buttons alignment sh uh, show button uh, sharing buttons to enable so let me show you how this works so we can go to a test post here so this is a blank test post you can imagine that it has some content here and now let us enable sharing buttons on posts and it should be shown on bottom uh, sharing buttons alignment you can leave this to none and let me enable all the sharing buttons so you will see how it will look and this is a feature that will enable a pin it image for image pin it button for images that you have on your post so let us continue and show you how the sharing fe uh, feature of uh, posts appears so let us refresh posts here and here they are so this is also a team related setting so i see that i must work on I will make an update and fix this because I must work on CSS to make button text color to be white and not underlined. Okay, so expect this to be fixed in the fourth version of the plugin. Okay, so enable Amazon affiliate ads. This is a cool feature to have also in the plugin because it will enable monetization. So you can monetize your WordPress site with zero effort. So you can enable Amazon affiliate ads, eBay, ClickBank, Commission Junction affiliate ads, Gearbest affiliate ads, AliExpress affiliate ads, Inveto affiliate ads, Walmart, Etsy affiliate ads. However, simply turning these on will not actually enable the ads, just set them up. So you still need to go to the monetization settings part here and you will need to set up your API keys for the ones that you wish to enable so you will see that you have to add your associate id access key secret key and target country so these will be just switches to tell the plugin that you that hey you should prepare this for me to enable them after i a switch continue and this can be fully enabled from the monetization settings but once again i will cover this in the next tutorial in the upcoming tutorial videos for this plugin not in the next because the next will probably be the content part of the plugin so now let's click continue and we will go to the speed settings and this should be also changed i just finished implementing this plugin and it might have some small text that it needs to be changed so this is speed settings here and minify and combine html and javascript you can switch this on minify and combine css remove query strings enable G zip compression if your server supports this then you can also enable this and leverage browser caching so you can enable all these features and click continue so after you click on continue your site will be ready and next step is go to the wordpress setup wizard dashboard so yeah this is how you you will uh, be able to run the quick setup wizard of the plugin and it is as you see finished and we can go back to the quick setup wizard and skim through its functionality once again so click let's go content legal gdpr teams plugins security ceo social monetize speed and ready when you are done with the quick setup of your site so yeah this is all for the first part of the tutorial video for this plugin this is a brand new plugin and i hope you will enjoy it i am going to fix right now on the css issue that i found in this tutorial video because i continue to find some small issues that i continue to fix but 
once you will get your hands on this plugin it will be fully done and functional so yeah thank you for watching until the end have a nice day stay safe please subscribe to this channel because it is really appreciated i release a new video each day at 7 pm gmt so thank you for subscribing this is all check the second part of the tutorial video bye bye